Hey everyone, Glenn Victor here again. We are at the United Safety Council monthly networking luncheon for the month of August 2015. We're here at the beautiful Duffy's Grill located near I-4 and Conroy in Orlando, a great location for our monthly networking luncheons here in Central Florida. We have really been looking forward to this month's presentation as our guest speaker is Paul Radke from Columbia Southern University. All of our members are entitled to a 10% discount across the board on all tuition because United Safety Council is what's known as a partner agency with Columbia Southern University. Paul is also here to talk about the great scholarship programs that are available to all United Safety Council members. The delivery of higher education has changed so much in the years so that now online is a very accepted way of learning. It is a very difficult way of learning, a lot more difficult than sometimes classroom because one, you do have to be disciplined with your time management. So you have to be focused, you have to be directed and so online learning, people retain that information a lot more because they are the ones themselves who are doing all the work. The Learning Partner Program through Columbia Southern Universities has about 2,700 learning partners throughout the country, small, medium and large businesses local professional organizations, city municipalities, there's a number of them. And we provide each year an opportunity for our learning partners, members or their employees or their family members to apply for scholarships. And these scholarships will cover up to $12,600. It's over a three year period or completion of their first degree. Columbia Southern has great degree programs in the occupational safety and health field and generally in safety across the board. There is both a bachelor's and master's degree in occupational safety as well as degrees in fire science, law enforcement, and you get the idea of safety programs as a whole. First of all, I'm a recipient of a college scholarship. I actually had an athletic scholarship. So anytime a student has an opportunity to earn the right to advance and to be able to expand the opportunity for their uh, for continuous education. I think that that's a great blessing because there's so many students out there that don't have the financial means to be able to pay for their education. Well, as a college student myself, it's important to have scholarships. I'm looking myself for some financial assistance. Um, higher education is expensive, even as a working adult with families. Um, that little bit of help is the difference between finishing a degree um, and even starting. Oh my guys that work for me have kids that's trying to go to school and some of my guys have took interest in going to college and I can pass it on to them. Well I mean nowadays it's needed. It's I mean people are when you're working a job raising a family and you don't have that extra time to take a few hours out of your day to go to uh, to go sit into a classroom so online would be the way to go that way you could still be able to do what you need to do and be able to gain the education that you need to pursue your career. So as you can see everyone here having a great time again at the United Safety Council monthly networking luncheon where there's always lots of great business contacts made of course the food is always delicious here at Duffy's everyone really enjoys themselves it's a great venue and a relaxed atmosphere for people to meet and greet and make those connections that are so important to all of us in the safety and health field here in Central Florida. Well, with the way that the economy is today, I think that it's also very important that people feel that they're able to be able to continue their education and have that help in order to you know, further their business opportunities or their job opportunities. Well, I think it's important that people recognize that if you're going to be in the safety profession, you really need to get educated about it. A lot of people enter the safety profession and they have no background background other than at home, at work. So you're limited. So the good thing about this is it gives you an idea you can get some additional education without having to go to brick and mortar and still do your job. And that's important. I know as a culture, Goodwill Industries of Central Florida believes in helping all of our employees grow to their fullest capabilities and beyond. So that's why we're here and we're excited. Now next month we'll have another great speaker, Nick Nickerson from Select Physical Therapy in Florida. Nick will be here to talk to us all about maximizing that return on investment in our safety and health programs. You won't want to miss this one, it's sure to be a full house, so reserve your seat soon. 
As usual, if you'd like to register for the next networking luncheon, give us a call anytime or check us out online for contact information. Or, of course, go to our Facebook page. And if you would, as always, give us a like. Help us spread the word about all the great work the United Safety Council does in the community. And we hope to see you at the next United Safety Council monthly networking luncheon.